Have you had some fresh local asparagus yet? I picked some up at the farmer's market the other day and we grilled some, which was delicious, but there were some really skinny mini pieces of asparagus that were a little too thin for grilling. So I took those out, put those on the side, and I wound up blanching them a little bit. I put all the skinny minis in a flat baking dish. I poured boiling water over them and just let them sit for a few minutes and drain them and just pop them into some ice water just for a minute, just to cool them down right away. And now I'm just storing them in the refrigerator in a covered glass container. And today I'm going to make a quick lunch with this asparagus that I blanched a little bit, the skinny mini asparagus. So I've chopped a little asparagus and I've got some ingredients already prepped ahead of time and what I'm going to do is make it's kind of like an avocado toast but it's also like a deconstructed salad so the base is actually one big crouton piece of toast and then I'm going to scoop out half of a nice ripe avocado that's nice and creamy and I'm going to mash it up with just a little bit of lime juice when the avocado is just nice and ripe and creamy like this, it's very easy to mash up with a fork. And I just want to mash it because it'll be easier to spread onto the toast. So I'm going to add a little bit of lime juice, just a tiny squeeze. Maybe just half a teaspoon is all I put in for half of an avocado. And then I'm going to add some of that chopped asparagus. And I'm also going to put some chopped chives in there from my garden. The reason that I'm stirring them into the avocado is because they'll stick onto the toast much easier than if I just tried to sprinkle them over the avocado after I spread it onto the toast. So I'm going to transfer this to the top of my huge crouton <laughs> and then just spread it around so that the top of your toast is covered. Mmm, that looks good and beautiful. And I'm going to add some chopped tomatoes over the top. And then to complete my deconstructed salad, I'm going to put a little vinaigrette over some greens. Stir it up a little bit so that all of the greens are coated with your favorite vinaigrette. And then I'm going to transfer that right over to the top of my big crouton. Now that's a lunch, isn't it? Give this salad a try. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.